Hello beautiful beings. So I wanted to make another video today and I just wanted to talk about my journey a little bit and yeah so really I, I want to I want to be of service to others while I'm here on this planet and right now the best thing I can do to, to help people, so the best thing I can do for others is to share my experiences and help others become more aware if that is what they choose because as we all become more aware of what's happening you know we're gonna see some big changes on this planet because at school and through the media or whatever we're not actually <laughs> being taught to become more aware, we're quite the opposite, well, we're being taught quite the opposite, and so I wanted to share my my journey for those that maybe know me but don't know what I've been up to, or people that don't know me maybe, and anyway, so I had a pretty fortunate upbringing here in beautiful New Zealand, I got to travel with my family a few times overseas, and I got the opportunity to change high schools when I <laughs> when I pleased so and I got to go to one where I spent half the school year uh, in a, at a camp in an old milling village next to a native forest and I got lots of nature connection there after that I changed schools again I left school early I finally realized that it didn't matter what school I went to, I just didn't enjoy school and being told what to do and restriction and all that kind of stuff. And I went to university after that, I didn't enjoy that too much either. And after a few months of not doing a whole lot, I got the opportunity to sail on a yacht across the, the Atlantic. So I jumped on the boat in Barcelona, there was about seven of us on board down to Gibraltar, then the Canary Islands, which took a week, and then had a week in the Canary Islands, then we sailed across the Atlantic, which was pretty awesome, uh, two weeks without seeing land, living on the ocean, the boat was powered by the wind, it was a pretty awesome experience, I got to, I got to meet some really cool people on that trip in different countries, and people from different countries on the boat. I got to learn a little bit about the Rothschilds and how the world was run by oil companies and these sorts of things. I also learned about hemp and my passion for the environment started to grow. And after a few months on that boat, I went back to New Zealand for the summer. I then went back to Europe for, for a few months looking for a job on like power yachts, which is a whole lot different to a sail yacht and I eventually got offered a couple jobs and then my passion for the industry kind of started to disappear so I decided to come back to New Zealand after backpacking through Europe for a bit and study something environmental so I went to Unitech, studied biodiversity for six months or one semester again that was enough, uh, university is not really for me I decided and then I, I decided to go to Mexico at the start of last year, 2016, and I live with two friends I met at Unitech. They were exchange students studying in Mexico, and we, we lived together in an apartment in Querétaro, which is three hours north of Mexico City, and we had a lot of fun there. I took some Spanish classes, and we just like hung out. It was, it was a cool time. And then I went down to Playa del Carmen, which is a small place in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. And I did something called woofing, which is willing workers on organic farms. And so you get free food and accommodation for three or four hours work every day. And, well, five days a week or whatever <laughs> the different people, you know, request. And... So I went to this place called Sac Bay, which really helped me open my, I don't know, just change, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. And it was a really cool, really cool place. And 
I met this lovely couple called Gerardo and Elisa, and uh, the days consisted of, you know, about 8 o'clock in the morning, we would have a smoothie and some fruit uh, and a couple of joints before smoking, sorry, <laughs> we would smoke a couple of joints before uh, <laughs> before working in the garden for a few hours. We were planting fruit trees and growing tomatoes and some other vegetables. And then by midday it was getting really hot, so we came inside to this really cool adobe earth house and we'd eat vegan tacos which was tortillas with guacamole, some salad, maybe some potatoes and beans or rice or something. And then the afternoons we'd spend swimming in cenotes which are these beautiful caves in the Yucatan Peninsula with crystal clear refreshing water and I met a lot of cool people there in that village that I still keep in contact with. After that, I traveled some more and eventually ended up back in New Zealand at the end of last year. And, and I did a permaculture course, which kind of taught me even more about living with nature, which was now one of my big passions, growing food and, you know, living in harmony with nature and not against it learning to regenerate the environment instead of just being sustainable and I had been vegan by then for about a year and and uh, from that permaculture course I met a cool couple called Steve and Jenny with two amazing little children who are about seven and nine years old now and that they're, they're living off the grid in Otaki, New Zealand uh, they live in a yurt, a Mongolian roundhouse. They have their own vegetables, fruit trees, animals, nut trees, and, you know, really, really cool experience staying with those guys and learning from them. They introduced me to some cool books by Martin Pritchtel, who's a really cool guy, um, and Tom Brown Jr., and after... After staying with them, I traveled around New Zealand a bit more than the summer. I then went to California, and, and in California I met a cool guy called Rex, and yeah, so Rex was cool, and he taught me a whole lot of things I hadn't, hadn't heard or learned before. He, he spoke about how everything is perfect in every moment. And if you look at it from the big picture down to now, or, or you just look around in your present moment, you know, you're always getting exactly what you need. You might not realize that in the moment, etc., but it's a powerful thing to remember <laughs> when you're not enjoying yourself. And, and, you know, I've kind of experienced that since as as my reality. A nice way I like to say it now is that you never have to do anything. You you never have to drink water, but you might, you know, die of, you know, dehydration. <laughs> you might, you never have to eat, but you might die of starvation. You never, you know, you never have to do anything. You know, every choice has consequences. So therefore you're always doing exactly what you want to do if you never have to do anything. And if you're always doing exactly what you want to do, everything is pretty perfect, <laughs> if you ask me. And, you know, at Rex's place, he had, he has, he's been restoring old VW camper vans, you know, like combis, for about 30 years. And he decided uh, to just give away what he's got. And so, at the start of this year, you know, I uh, was his first work away -er, or one of them. There was four of us that showed up at the same time. And we started just doing stuff up on this. He's got 15 acres near Yosemite National Park. And, yeah, I planted a whole lot of vegetables, everything organic. And and we, we did a whole lot. And I was there for four weeks before I went to Tom Brown's Tracker School, who I was introduced to by my friend Steve and, my friend Steve and Jenny. And there I learned a whole lot of 
about phys being physically aware, like using your peripheral vision, which is something I try to do as often as I can remember or remind myself to, using all your five senses or, you know, other senses like your sense of balance or anything you can put your attention on to keep you in the moment and aware of what's happening right now. It's pretty powerful, but we also learned what he called spiritual awareness, which is really interesting too. And I met a lot of really cool people there in those two weeks, which is up in the mountains in California. And I still keep in contact with some of those people who have taught me a few things, or at least. And after that, I went to Costa Rica. I was there for three or four months this year. I did a couple of trips to Nicaragua. I was growing a vegetable garden in Cartago and practicing a bit of Spanish, which, <laughs> you know, I'm <laughs> still coming along a bit slowly there, but I can get by. And I spent a lot of time on the internet and I learned things from people like Barry Long, um, Lester Livingston. I learned more about growing food and living in the moment, living in the now. And I would go walking every day and try and, you know, like an active meditation of walking, trying to, you know, keep my mind quiet and just walking and seeing and feeling and breathing and being. And I was, I was enjoying that. I also had a few, you know, like annoying and niggly things with my health, like swollen lymph nodes and low energy and things that I didn't remember having, you know, when I was younger growing up. I was quite active with, without any of those issues. And I googled one day something about my lymph nodes and I came across this video called The Great Lymphatic System by Dr. Robert Morse. And I learned a whole lot in that one hour. And basically, that there's two sides to chemistry, um, base and acidic. And that if your body is alkaline, that, you know, you, diseases can't form because all diseases are acidosis. Anyway, I'll link a video for anyone that's interested in the health side of things, but the the basic thing I learned from that is that we're a frugivore species, which means our digestive system and everything is still the same as, as a primate, more or less, and our bodies are designed to eat about 80% fruit, 20% vegetables and leaves or whatever. And so I started doing that straight away, and that was in June, and since then my level of awareness has increased incredibly as far as I've experienced anyway and I've met a lot of people through the internet that have always also had this experience so that was really cool and yeah fruits high vibrational energy and and it tastes good and it's a lot of fun eating fruit and after that after those three or four months in Central America this year I went back to California where I stayed with Rex again helped in the gardens again, making lots of compost and various different things. I helped prepare salads for people and smoothies and <laughs> all sorts. And we had lots of raw vegan meals for everyone. That was fun. And I had a lot of fun there. Lots of really cool, amazing people trying to do good in the world. And helping people become more aware from all around the world. And yeah, and now I'm back in New Zealand. Uh, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out what my next step is to help people become more aware and help myself <laughs> to do the same. And and like I said in my last video, I'm, I'm using my dreams, my dream visions to do that. And that's really a lot of fun. I've had a couple of lucid dreams recently and yeah that's about all I wanted to say or all I can remember right now if you got any questions uh, you know please ask I really I'd really enjoy to communicate with people that might be watching this and yeah thanks guys thank you very much enjoy the rest of your
your day or evening and yeah, I might make another video soon go more in depth with some of my more I don't know some different experiences that I might have just mentioned and thank you